Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Apple Banker Shadow X keyboard that was sent over to me by Apple Maker themselves for my honest review. So this is a 70% gasket mounted hot swappable keyboard that has tri-mode connectivity which is 2.4Hz Bluetooth and USB-C wired and it goes for a price point of around 86 US dollars. Comes in four different colorways which is black silver, white blue, white green and white purple and has various different switch options. The switch I have here today is the Evomaker Wisteria switch because I personally really enjoy how this linear switch feels and sounds right out the box. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself, the manual, a keycap and switch puller, some extra switches, and a USB-C cable if you wanted to use it wired. So right off the bat, this is a plastic keyboard. It is not metal, but it does have a metal knob and it does feature an LCD display on the front right next to the arrow keys, which I think is a nice addition. Now it definitely is more on the chonkier side when it comes to the top and bottom bezel, but I do still think it looks quite nice. And the keycaps they're using are pretty thick. They aren't low quality. And the font on mine, which is the white purple, I think looks quite cute. I don't know if I'd like this type of font on the black variant of this keyboard, but for the white purple, white blue, and white green, I think it fits quite well as it has more of a bubbly feel to it. This comes with a polycarbonate plate that does have flex cuts, case foam, plate foam, and PE foam pre-installed, and the hot swappable PCB has south-facing hot swap sockets. So that is all fine and dandy. And because of all this, you basically don't have to do any modifications to this keyboard. So if you're new to the hobby or just don't want to put in any work, this could be a great budget option for you to check out. I think the only downside I think of this whole keyboard in general is the fact that there are so many keyboards like this nowadays and it just feels like I'm just reviewing the same old same old keyboard just with some small tiny different changes but I honestly think it's just because every keyboard manufacturer is pre-installing PE foam and PE foam really changes the sound profile on a keyboard so I personally would remove the PE foam but for this sound test that I'm about to show, the PE foam is installed so it's exactly how it would sound right out of the box when you buy it. Overall, like I said before, it's not a bad keyboard at all. I think it's actually very good and the stabilizers have little to no tick with them either. So it is practically perfect right out the box in terms of modifications needing to be done to it. It is not hollow, it sounds pretty thocky and the switches don't feel super scratchy or have any ping to them. So overall, it is a great keyboard. I just think we're kind of getting to the point where all of these keyboards sound the same or have the same features or feature one minor change. And I'm just hoping going forward we can see bigger changes in the mechanical keyboard scene as I do think it is becoming a little bit stale, especially around the budget side. There hasn't really been anything wowing me other than just being great out of the box, but that's kind of expected at this point. I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. But let me know what you guys thought about the Apple Maker Shadow X keyboard in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.